The Apple Valley Legacy Trail is an affiliate project of the High Desert Community Foundation. This video is about a community effort to reclaim, revitalize, and repurpose the historic hilltop house and surrounding property in Apple Valley. The goal is for a community of caring people and organizations to band together to transform the hilltop structure and their surrounding location into an educational resource center and recreational destination. People are probably wondering, why the Hilltop House? Why a trail? Why a legacy trail? And what's the benefit? And more importantly, who's going to do it? Beginning today, we'll be answering these questions in part one of a three-part video series intended to update, inspire, and engage this community and region. Education is one of our key goals. We want the property to be nature's classroom where it unveils our area's history, the story behind Bass Hill, our region's geology, native flora, and its wildlife. We want our project to introduce our valley's freshwater lake origins, which eventually transitioned into a lush valley where Native Americans lived along the river, where others traveled through and where explorers, missionaries, and ranchers planted their roots. There are many stories as to how Apple Valley acquired its name. According to the late Mary Hampton, a local historian, the name arose from the abundance of apple orchards that existed here in the 1920s. Unfortunately, with the Great Depression and the expense of pumping water for irrigation, the orchards withered. Some say the name originated from the Appleton Land Company that was based in this area in the early 1900s. Appleton was an early surveyor of the area. Realtor Newton T. Bass and B.J. Westland are credited as being the modern-day founders of the area. Partners in the oil and gas industry in Long Beach, California, Westland and Bass formed the Apple Valley Ranchos Land Company in 1946 and marketed the area as a destination resort and bedroom community. It's from Bass Hill that Bass looked out over the valley, expecting to plan his cattle ranch when he viewed the high desert as we still can from the same hilltop. He said, I'm going to build a town here. A residential community was born. They constructed the historic Apple Valley Inn and the Hilltop House, providing a recreational outlet for the rich and famous celebrities of Hollywood who flew into Apple Valley's first airport, which was located behind our Target Center on Highway 18. A closer look reveals remnants of the vintage asphalt runway that still exists today. The Los Angeles newspapers reported that Bass and Westland used a western theme to brand the area and to market and sell their new town. The duo also went all out by hiring a Hollywood publicity firm to arrange for famous people to come up to the Apple Valley Inn, which was created at the base of the hill. From its birth in 1948, the charming Apple Valley Inn began attracting an enthusiastic and well-heeled crowd that would grow to include many famous film and television stars, as well as leaders in such diverse fields as business, politics, and sports. These celebrities were drawn to the uniqueness of the inn's architecture and beautiful setting. The inn was a popular vacation destination for Hollywood celebrities during the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Frequent visitors included Bob Hope, Marilyn Monroe, John Wayne, and President Richard Nixon. Entertainment for guests included performers such as cowboy, celebrity, and famous trick roper Texas Rose Bascom. The stories of the past are endless, and our vision is to bring them back to life through the Apple Valley Legacy Trail. We want the Legacy Trail to be a unique community billboard perched high on Bass Hill for all to share and see. We want to get those Joshua trees and native plants leading folks back to Apple Valley. The spectacular modernistic house Bass built on 20 acres on top of the hill above the Apple Valley Inn was appropriately named the Hilltop House. Bass's home offered panoramic vistas in virtually every direction with vistas stretching for miles and miles. Bass made a very exciting and out-of-the-box decision by engaging an architect from down in Mexico. Although relatively unknown in the United States, Francisco Artigas was a prominent figure in Mexican architecture with many notable designs throughout his country. 
the Legacy Trail Committee has established an open dialogue with the curators of Artigas' designs, and his family is very, very excited about our vision. Not only was the Hilltop House a mansion and showcase without equal, it offered views of the valley from every direction from inside the home as well. The indoor-outdoor pool of beauty was also the home's Achilles heel, as vandals and the curious found ease of access into the home. The spectacular Hilltop House was Apple Valley's most prominent landmark until a fire in 1967 destroyed the home to its foundation. No longer a house, the new construction was designed to copy the house, but now would serve as a corporate boardroom and banquet center. It was during the banquet center seasons, 1968 through 1998, that the Hilltop House opened its doors to the public for various meetings and celebrations. A historic icon had expanded to advance a cultural connection to the residents of Apple Valley. 